Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to TFI CAD Tips. So about an hour ago, uh, an hour or two ago, I released a video asking a question. What would you do with VR? Have you had the discussion in your office about VR and 3D CAD data? And based on the very, very early feedback that I'm getting, it's overall quite positive. A lot of people do sound like they would find this useful. Some have even tried it. And uh, I don't think anybody really knows that there's already a solution there which you can work with. So I thought, you know what, enough with the foreplay. This is too big to just keep it a secret and not show you it. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to take the HTC Vive. And then, I don't know if you can see it behind the microphone, but I have here a very inconspicuous but quite sizable looking 3D model. And I'm going to jump into it. I am going to literally jump into the middle of this object and walk around it in VR. It can be done right now. This video doesn't have any high production value. I literally just thought to myself, you know, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to show you it. So there's no fancy cameras from set up from different angles, nothing like that. I'm just going to go straight into it and show you how it's done. So this thing can be done by anybody. This is all standard Autodesk off the shelf stuff. You don't have to have any additional plugins. There's no scripts or nothing like that here, which I've had to write myself. It's all out of the box stuff that anyone can do. So there's no secrets here. So this is the original Inventor assembly. The program that I'm going to import it into and look at it through VR can read the original assembly. So you don't have to do any translations. However, because this assembly has, it has patterns in and whatnot, it duplicates some of the files and there's a bit of cleaning up to do once it gets into the program, which I don't want to do in this demo. So I'm just going to export it out as a is just a CAD format file just a translation file I'm going to use JT so I'm going to drop that on my desktop and I'm going to call this funnel.jt and then save that out and that's it exported as quick as that so I'm going to go over to the program that we're going to use VR in it's called Autodesk VRED Professional VRED stands for Virtual Reality Editor so this is it's an autom it's an automotive program but it works with any file that you can import any file that it recognizes you can bring it it doesn't have to be automotive so it can go to import CAD file and then we can pick the funnel JT file there and it'll just bring it in pretty quickly. You can, you can change the, the import settings. You can change how well, you know how, how the, the tessellation is and various other bits and pieces that you want to import in. So we'll just pick high because it's a relatively small assembly and it should convert pretty quickly. So once it's imported, uh, it's, I mean, it's, it's as quick as that. You can use your 3D mouse in this program, spin it around, and then you can just pop the Vive on and look at it straight away. But I'm going to do a little bit of, I'm just going to do a little bit of material management here, just so it looks a little bit more impressive when you do put it into VR. So let's go to the Asset Manager, and then I'll choose from the, the library of materials, and we'll go for, let's go for metal. Let's make it so it's got a texture on it. So we'll go for Mercury Hammered. Right, uh, I'm just trying to remember how to do this. So we'll go Shift, and then let's Window Select all of those and then apply to the selected nodes there you go and then shift and right click and that deselects them so there you go so that's now got like a hammered textured finish to the to the metal it just makes it look a little, more, a little bit more impressive when you put it into vr and then for the scene uh, let's go back to the asset manager and let's go to the environments and then let's pick uh i don't know it's going to be an indoor scene let's pick the empty garage and drop that in there so that drops it into a showcase like IBL environment. So it's now floating around there. So now what I'm going to do is put the headset on and I'm going to jump straight inside of this assembly. And then you're going to see, obviously you can't see what it looks like through my eyes in the VR headset, but you'll be able to see like the left and right eye. And you'll get a good impression of what this is going to look like as well as best as you can in 2D. So I appreciate that this is not going to look as good for you as it is for me. And that I also did an April Fool's joke saying that this was possible, and this, I assure you, is not enabled fool's joke. This is genuinely real. So what I'm going to do, you can see red on screen with a 3D model. There it is. So I'm going to switch this over to the virtual reality world, and you're going to see the left and right eye on screen, which is, is the best I can do. You obviously can't see virtual reality because you need the headset. But there you go. There's, there's, the, there's the Vive looking around the object in, uh, in virtual space. I'm going to drop the headset on, and I'm now looking square at the object as if it's right in front of me, which is extraordinarily creepy. So I'm going to turn the handsets on. That's one on, and then the other one. Where is it? There it is, All right. So when the handsets come on, you'll see those in virtual space, and then you can sort of point and select objects. Hopefully you can see that on the screen. I can't see what you can see. I don't even know if I'm looking at you right now. I think I know. Nearly. Right, so I can point at objects. The idea being is that at some point in the future, someone, maybe myself, I don't know, can write some sort of a script whereby you can lean into an object and then touch it, interact with it, move it, pull it around. That will entirely be possible. It probably is possible now. I can also use the trackpad to move around if I want to, uh, which isn't exactly the 
only way to do it, you can as well, if I stand up, you can see that I'm now looking into the object. So I can, I'm losing track of where I am in the real world, but I can sort of peer over it and look inside it. And if I want to go inside it, I, if I had enough space in this room, I could walk inside it, but I can use the trackpad instead just to place myself into the middle of it. So I'm now stood right in the middle of the object and now I can inspect it and make sure I don't headbutt anything as I'm doing it. But I can sit down in the middle of it. I can inspect all the textures. I can look at if there's any mistakes, if there's any finishing errors on it. I can look at if there's any clashes. Um, I guess another another thing that you could do with this in the future as well is with the, with the handheld controllers, you could say, right, what color do you want this painted? Blue, red, green, and you'd just be able to press a, a trigger button and then change the colour of whichever object you want to change colour on. That would be quite useful. Um, but yeah, this is this is incredible. It really is incredible. You can't... I mean, you can see what I'm seeing, but you can't understand how real this feels until you're in here and you're looking at it. It feels like you're inside the garage. Uh, the headsets are a little bit... They're a little bit pixelated to the point whereby you can see it's a bit blurry. However, <laughs> however... This is better than anything you're going to get on any size screen. It is phenomenal. It really is incredible. So we can we can inspect it, we can interact with it, we can move around it, we can stand up and look inside it and then walk around it if we had enough space. But what more can I say? Don't really need to sell. I don't really need to sell it any more than that. It is it is legit. It really is incredible. And that's just a, a simple metal object you can you can drop all kinds of things in here and hopefully interact with them in the future so there you go there's CAD and virtual reality it's happening it's real it can be done it's hot in here right I'm going to sign off there guys that's what that's it working there's the solution it can only get better than this it will get better than this and on a bigger scale this is this is the sales presentation of the future. So with that, thank you very much, guys. I'm going to wrap it up there. If you like this content, do subscribe, and I'll show more of this stuff in the future as hopefully I work on developing it. I'm going to try and work on developing this to a point whereby it can be sold as a product or as a service. That's where I'm trying to aim with it. Someone's probably going to beat me to it because I can't code for Toffee, but we'll see how it goes. Thanks very much, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Doodles.